making country fried steak instead of Salisbury steak. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. See, that changed quickly, didn't it? We'll put it in the chocolate cake. There. No, I, no, I don't. I don't do that. Watch this because it's going to be important. I don't know who invented the new math, but they need to be put in a timeout chair. I just got a mess. This is just a mess. Well, we're losing potatoes now. Don't know if the record button was pushed. Then I just randomly cut them any size I feel like cutting them. You guys are going to never believe what I just did. My dryer's done. Hi everybody, welcome back. What's cooking? Hashtag what's cooking? I'm making dinner. We're making Salisbury steak. That's the plan and it might change as I go along. That's the way I roll in this kitchen. It starts out to be one thing and then it turns into something totally different. But I thought I would just make a video because why not? Don't you want to see me peel potatoes? And I don't have that many. That's hot water. I'm gonna burn myself. I'm gonna get the potatoes going. You can just hang out with me while I peel potatoes because why not? My day. You want to hear about my day? I had a nice day today. My grandson was here. He did a video with me. We dehydrated the chives. So we did that video together because my grandkids like to be on my YouTube channel. Hi Sam, how are you doing? Everybody say hi to Sam in the comments because he will read them, he will look, he will call me and then he will tell me how many people commented. And he'll probably read the comments to me too. Please don't disappoint Sam. Don't want to disappoint Sam. No. So, mashed potatoes. Oh no, no. What well, my day, my day, what was I doing today? I have decided, because I'm a good GMA, every Tuesday, my dryer's done. Every Tuesday night, that I'll get Sam, and he could spend the night with me. And in the morning, we'll wake up, and we'll do school together, him and I, because my daughter has three three boys home right now that she's homeschooling so i thought i'd give her a break one day a week take sam this gma did new math what's what is up with new math let me tell you the old math is a lot easier than the new math it, it's just easier i don't know who invented the new math but they need to be put in a timeout chair they, they, they just do they need to sit in a timeout chair and not come out until the old math, the old math is back. That's my feeling on that. All right, this is my last potato. I won't bore you anymore with my my speaking. Let's go over to the stove because I'm going to make Salisbury steak with this. I have this, so we're going to do something with that. I'm not sure yet what it's going to turn out to be, but it's going to be good. I can tell you that. All right, these potatoes. First of all, I like to rinse them in cold water. All right. Then I just randomly cut them any size I feel like cutting them. And then I'll add cold water to the pot and salt. That's all we do to make the mashed potatoes. Those of you that don't know how to make mashed potatoes right now, that's all you do. Just cut them up, put salt in the water, and boil them. I'll rinse them again because I don't like all that white nasty foam stuff. And I'll cut that one a little smaller. So we're going to rinse them just again, just because, see the white nasty foam? Well, we're losing potatoes now. I believe that might be starch, but I'm not real sure. And I'll rinse them again after I cook them. No, I, no, I don't, I don't do that. That's pasta that I do that too. Don't rinse your potatoes when they're done cooking. I've got this bigger pan, so we don't have potato disaster boiling over because God forbid, I don't want to have to clean my stove top. All right, over to the stove we go. I also have one of my cans of corn that I just did on in my canner canning video on that I just don't I don't want to open this but I will I have a lot of these and I guess we do I did do this to eat them right but it's so pretty how many of you don't want to open your canning jars after you do this I'm one of those now carefully I don't I don't have any other way to open this but with this thing see this thing so carefully we're gonna do this so we don't like poke a hole in the top because I don't want to do that you there it won't open must be sealed good if I can't get the oh there we go got it open so we're just gonna dump that in there and I'll add some butter to that in a little bit it smells so good it's, it smells like my house did when we were canning the corn 
that's what it smells like. All right, so I have this cube steak, and I'm going to make like a, a flour thing to like a batter thing. But I've got my cast iron skillet here. And can you see it? Because everything is black. My stove is black, but it's here. Trust me. And I'm going to add some olive oil in here. Oh, about that much. And we're going to leave the oil sit here in case I need some more. Or we'll put it in the chocolate cake. There. The chocolate cake is ready to be thrown out, so it, it can just hold that. So now I have this bowl right here. Okay. And I'm going to add a flour mixture in here. Now watch, watch this because it's going to be important. This is going to be important. This is the important step. I have buttermilk corn bread flours stuff here that I use for something else so I thought why not just oh geez tore the bag why not just use it in this I don't know if it'll work but why not try so I'm gonna add some in here probably that much yeah that much see got that much in there it's making a lot of uh, it's making a lot of dusty flour here okay to this I'm gonna add salt I don't like this salt shaker, so I'm just going to open my salt. It sticks in. I just don't like this. I just got a mess. This is just a mess. So we're just going to add some. Probably that much. There might be a teaspoon in there. I don't know. I might have to get the regular salt shaker out and mix some in there. And then to that, wait for it, I have onion powder that I dehydrated. Oh, it smells delectable. I'm going to dump some of that in there. Probably that much. Probably that much. There's probably two tablespoons in there. Do you guys measure when you cook or do you just dump? Because I just dump. And then I have celery, celery powder that I, I also dehydrated. And I thought, why not just put it in here because it, it might be good. You never know. Just a little bit. There, see? Boop, boop, there, see? Isn't that pretty? I'm just adding a little bit because, quite frankly, because I have it. Now we're putting garlic in this, and we're gonna just put, yeah, about that, about that much. Just that much. Oh, this smells delectable now. And then to this, I'm going to add musket powder. This is very, very good. I'm telling you, if you don't have this, you need this. There's a link in my description for this. It's just, it's a weird combination of goodness. There's garlic in here. There's caffeinated coffee in here. And pepper. If you don't have that, you need to have that. Because it's just... It's just good. Now I'm going to dip this thing into that thing and then put it in here. I wonder if I should dip this in egg first. No, we're not. We're just going to go with it like this. We're dredging. I think this is called dredging. See? I think that's what it's called. But that's what we're doing. We're, dr we're dredging in this. We'll just set that up there on the corn. And then into the pot. Now this is preheated just a little bit. It's on like a low heat because it's cast iron. And I'm learning how to cook on the cast iron without burning things. So we're just gonna drudge this one too. Just keep it going in there. I probably could have put egg on this first, but I didn't. So if you want to, you probably could dip it in egg first, I imagine. Because I'm not following a recipe. I'm just doing this from the goodness in my brain. That's what I'm doing here. There we go. Oh, we've got two more. I hope they fit. Heavenly goodness. There we go. One more in here. I hope this turns out good. We might dip it in here again. Fry it on both sides and then dip it again. Oh, you know what? Maybe we dip it again in the egg. And then put it in here. That might be a brilliant idea. Sometimes I have those. Alright, one more. In there. I'm going to let this brown and I'm going to go get the egg ready because I think we're going to do that. We're going to dip it in egg and then redo this. Two coats. That's what's going to happen. We have a new angle now. I hope this is okay, but the other angle was making my back hurt. So I, I hope this angle is okay. Uh, I, we'll see. Now you can see my pot better and I'm still bending over. So we'll, we'll have to see. We'll see what happens here. But I'm going to flip these now. Oh, jeez. That 
fucking heart flipping them. Is that under there? Yeah. Just give them all a flip. And I've got my egg ready. I've got egg ready because we're gonna we're gonna do this in a minute. But I'm working on my camera angles. We'll see how this looks. If it looks ridiculous, we won't do this again. I don't know. Let me see turning this light on. Oh! Does that brighten things up for you? I turned the light on. But see, I'm really bright right on this side of my face and not. And there, there's my face. I could get a sun guard, sorry. Just playing with my lighting. To the corn, I added salt and butter. And I'm gonna add musket powder to this also. It just gives everything a, a good flavor. Does anybody else like eating corn when it's cold out of the can? Or the jar. Oh, I need to say jar now. Because I'm a canner now. We're going to add some more of this to that. Well, not some more because I didn't add it yet. Into the into the corn. Just a little bit. It really does give things a good flavor. I wouldn't I wouldn't scare you wrong. I would not do that. I don't know. We might not do another. Well, that's falling off. Why is it coming off? Okay, well, in it goes. Into the egg. Flip you over. Oh, how am I going to do this? This might be disastrous. Back into here. Just cover it up a little bit. Yeah. There. Back into the skillet. Yep. Alright. In the egg. Come on. Ooh, give it a flip. It is a little, it is a little bit warm. I won't lie to you. Cover it up. Back into the skillet we go. Yep. Do this one. This ought to be pretty good. Poor Rob's walking around. Ow, that her. Mm -mm, I burn my thumb. Poor Rob's walking around the kitchen saying, "Oh my gosh, this is this is how I get dinner." Usually he's at work when I make him dinner, so he can't. He doesn't know what happens until he watches the video, and it's it's too late to worry then because he already ate whatever I gave him. Here you go. Back into the pot. Out of there. This is like a country fried steak. Maybe I'm making country fried steak instead of Salisbury steak. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. See? That changed quickly, didn't it? We went from Salisbury steak to country fried steak, just like that. Dinner changes just like that. You don't need to worry. If you mess up a recipe, just call it something else. You can name it whatever you want to name it. Alright, we'll be back when after this cooks a little bit. You guys are going to never believe what I just did. Turn my oven on to preheat and I forgot that I had something in there. Watch this. I forgot all about this. Woo! Hotness. I put this bread in, in the oven this morning to raise. Yeah, I did that. Well, I turned my oven on to preheat it and I'm like, why does this smell like bread's baking? Oh crap, I got bread in the oven. Hence the bread. Is this homemade? No, it's a frozen loaf. You know, you get from the freezer section and then you, um, yeah, you just let it raise. That's what that is. All right, this, I flipped it while you were gone and I'm just gonna set it off to the side because we're gonna make magic with this. In a minute, you'll see, you'll see. I've got the corn over here starting to like boil. I'm gonna put it on low right now, simmer, just to simmer. I guess that's what simmer does, isn't it? I also refilled my salt shaker. I'm out of pink salt, so I have white salt. And I was washing the lid, and the lid fell on the floor, and now I can't find it. I think it went under the refrigerator. I will locate that. Either I'll locate it, or the cat locate will locate it. Those of you that have cats know what I'm talking about. In the middle of the night, the cat will bat it around, and my husband will get up and and find it. That's when he'll find it. But I'm going to go mash these potatoes and I'll be right back. All right, you ready for this? We're going to put the meat that we cooked here over here. Probably should turn that burner off. I'm good for doing that, leaving burners on or leaving the oven on. But we're going to set this meat on this for just a second. And then now the, now the magic happens. On the bottom of this pan, we're going to put these potatoes. These potatoes are going to go right in the bottom of here. Right in the bottom, all of them. Just all of them. Yeah. This is just a creation I made up in my brain. It's gonna be good. I know it's gonna be good. Why wouldn't it be good? And we're just gonna spread those around evenly in the pan. 
There. Looky there. Evenly. We're going to put our meat, the meat, back on top of the potatoes. Alright. Just set those nicely in there. Just like a little puzzle. They all fit in there. Now on top of this, we have gravy. I probably could have made gravy, but I didn't because I knew I had this can. So, but if you want to make gravy, feel free. How about it? We're just going to pour gravy on here. Just pour gravy. Look at that. Just blop. Blop it in there. Another blop there. We'll give you a blop. You get a blop. And you get a... Oh, no. Nope, that one fell off. We'll give him a little more. Just cover it in gravy. If you want to be particular about it, you could kind of mash it all down. But I think when it heats up, it'll, it'll probably scatter itself. Look at that. Beautiful. Now we're going to put it in the oven for... I have it on 375. And I'm going to put it in here probably for like 15 minutes or so. I'll let you know how long I put it in there when I get it back out. But it's going in at 375. All right, had to go find my other pot holder because I don't want to touch the skillet. So cast iron baking, or cast iron cooking here, it's heavy. Can't go on that heavy. In the oven it goes. We'll leave it in there for a little while and we'll be back. Well, I found the lid. Found the lid before the cat could get it. Does your cat do that in the middle of the night? Just kind of bat things around the floor that you find? That the cat finds, not you find. Wake you up, it's miserable. Oh, this smells really good. It smells delicious. And the gravy's starting to bubble. There we go. We have dinner. Miraculously, we have dinner now. There we go. All right. There we go. Corn's done. Musket powder. Musket powder. This really is good. Use code Michelle for 10% off. I have a code. Isn't that funny? And the bread. The bread's ready to go. I'll have to get that out of the pan. And I'll have to go find my husband. I think he's in Walmart right now. That's the garage in case anybody's new here. We call my husband's garage the Walmart. All right subscribe consider subscribing come back for more more cooking with michelle isn't it fun all right i'll see you next time bye